morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of Perth and Kinross Heritage Trust, I'd like to welcome you all to the Perth and Kinross Archaeological Research Framework uh, Priorities and Progress Conference. I'd like to thank you all for taking time out today to attend and contribute to this conference. My name is Michael Ballantyne, and I have become involved with the Trust as a volunteer on a number of recent archaeology digs, including Morden, Hillfort, Glen Shee, and King Seat Dunkeld. I'm now a trustee representing the voice of volunteers on the Board of Trustees, and I'm chairman of the PKR Steering Group. Perth and Kinross has a rich and diverse archaeological resource with nearly 4,000 sites of national importance and has often been at the forefront of archaeological research, from the early antiquarian excavations on Dunsinan Hill to the pioneering community archaeology work of Margaret Stewart spanning the 1950s to the 1970s. Over the last two decades, the area has been the subject of large academic and community-focused research projects the, from the Roman Gask Ridge, Ben Law's Historic Landscape Project, Strathairn Environs and Royal Fertivia Project, the Tay Landscape Partnership Scheme and other Heritage Trust projects, and now the Living on Water Project. In addition, the area has seen a steady increase in archaeological work carried out in advanced de development, with the ongoing work in advance of the A9 Dueling Project representing a significant spike in this area of work. The results from today's working conference will feed into a research framework for the Perth and Kinross Local Authority region, which will guide ongoing and future research to better understand gaps in our knowledge and improve our understanding of underinvestigated periods, themes and geographical areas. In addition, a primary aim is to engage the local community and provide a value-added adding resource which enriches people's lives and strengthens communities through a sense of place, identity and education. PKRF is being delivered by Perth and Kinross Heritage Trust and is designed to complement the Scottish Archaeological Research Framework, SCARF, managed by the Society of Antiquaries of Scotland. Through funding from Historic Environment Scotland as part of Scotland's archaeology strategy, the programme of developing regional frameworks offers an opportunity to provide a much finer resolution picture that better informs our understanding of past human activity at both regional and national levels. The project is collating knowledge from local individuals and organisations exclusively within Perth and Ross, such as staff from PKHT and PMAG, and national experts. And we are indebted to our period champions who will introduce each period with their thoughts and to members of the steering group. Before moving on to the agenda for the day, some housekeeping to make you aware of. Uh, there's no fire drills uh, scheduled for today, so if the alarm is heard, then please exit the room into the corridor and proceed in orderly fashion to exit the building, either through the bar or at the main front entrance. If you are in any of the other rooms uh, used for the workshops, please follow the illuminated green signs to exit by the main front door or rear doors. The assembly point is outside the main front door of the hotel. The toilets are located uh, down the main corridor through the double doors from where you registered near the tea and urn workshop rooms. Tea and coffee as well as lunch will be served in this room, so please return here after the workshops. And I'm not sure if it's, if it's appropriate today, but if the weather's nice, feel free to take your refreshments into the garden, access through the bar. <laughs> So we'll now move on to the agenda for today. Uh, the day is split into two with a series of prehistoric sessions covering Mesolithic, Neolithic, Bronze Age and Iron Age, which includes the Roman periods, followed by a set of prehistoric think tank workshops in the morning. After lunch, this will be followed by a series of historic presentations covering early medieval, late medieval, post medieval and postmodern periods and follow up historic think tank workshops. There will be tea and coffee breaks between the presentations and workshops in both the morning and afternoon. Following the afternoon sessions, there will be a review of the day and what is to happen next from Gavin and the period champions. Most of you have already signed up to the think tank workshops. Uh, you can check which workshops you're on on the boards over there. 
And if you haven't already signed up, please do so during the morning uh, tea break. Spaces are a bit limited due to room sizes, so uh, and also the Mesolithic session will also be an opportunity to discuss the environmental chapter of the framework. Now, you've all been given a comments card, and, and that's to be used to help guide the note-taking during the presentations. These can be taken uh, into the workshops to assist with your structuring of your thoughts and to feed into the discussion. And there's also a page for each period, so even if you're not attending the workshop, there's an opportunity to contribute your ideas. There's a comments box for handling these at the end of the day, or they can be typed up and submitted digitally using a link uh, on the PCARF page of the PHK website. For those of you keen to use social media, feel free to use the Twitter handle, uh, hashtag PKRF, and also please note the Wi-Fi password, reception08, uh, which is available to all delegates. I'd now like to hand you over to Gavin, who is uh, leading the PCARF project at PKHD, and he will now introduce the framework and compare the remainder of the day. I hope you all have a very enjoyable and worthwhile conference.